Hey guys, Izzy from Endless RVing. So today we are out at Home Depot and we're gonna be talking about some items that we purchase at Home Depot. Now you may be asking, why would you go to Home Depot for RV items? Well, essentially an RV is a home on wheels. And although some items are specific to RVs that you can only get at RV dealerships or RV service centers, many of those items are not specific to just RVs. Like they are home items, which you can get at Home Depot. But before we get to that, this video is sponsored by Liquid Spring. So if you're looking for the very best suspension upgrade for your Class A, B, C, or Super C motorhome, Liquid Spring is the way to go. We have Liquid Spring on our coach, Four Corner System, and it is amazing. We are very happy to have partnered with Liquid Spring to offer you, the subscribers and viewers, up to $750 off on a Liquid Spring suspension. Just use the discount code ENDLESS below. If you're looking to test drive a liquid spring system, which we highly encourage, in the description below, we're going to tell you where the liquid spring demo vehicles will be located, and you can go and test drive them absolutely free. So if you're looking for the very best suspension upgrade for your motorhome, look no further than liquid spring. So for all the mask warriors out there, please don't comment, we'll just delete it. We are in New Jersey, we still have to wear a mask indoors, so that's why we're doing it. So the first area at Home Depot, which is really important, and we highly suggest that you visit this if you have any kind of RV, is the plumbing section. Now, most modern RVs, they have uh, PEX plumbing, which is this stuff, and that stuff, not so much the PEX plumbing, but the couplers, the joints, the connectors, they do break. That's already happened to us. This will be a source of leaks. So we will advise you to carry some extra packs, okay, as well as different connections, whether that's a reducing elbow, the connection rings, these things that, uh, that hold these to the packs. Also, you might wanna have a PEX uh, pinch clamp tool, as well as a PEX ring removal tool. What this will do, PEX is very simple to work with. If you have the right tools, you can immediately diagnose a leak and you can fix that right away. If that is too difficult, you can use another thing called shark bites, which they have, they're a little more expensive, but that makes it even easier. All right, so the second place we're visiting here is gonna be the electrical section and a lot of things go on your motorhome regarding electrical stuff. So some things you might wanna have on board or should just uh, some end caps some caps for your wires because those seem to get loose. Butt connectors, we keep these on board. Fuses, some extra wiring, zip ties, all that stuff. Good idea to have some extra on board just in case you need it. Before we move on to the next section, there's one other thing important in the electrical section, electrical tape. We use this stuff all the time. So moving on to safety, smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, they could all be found in Home Depot, which are behind me. Very important to make sure that your current one is up to date, that it's working, and if it's not, you can replace it with one from here. It doesn't have to be a fancy one. It could be just a plain, cheap one that they have there. Also, what you wanna make sure you have, and we did a video talking about this, fire safety is sufficient fire extinguishers. And we will tell you, one fire extinguisher is not sufficient. We have five on ours, and uh, I don't think we could really fit anymore, but the more you can have, make sure they work, make sure their expiration is not past their expiration, and make sure you have sufficient. All right, so this is my favorite section, is the cleaning section. Now, there are so many things you can get here, but it's all like in one aisle, right? So whether that is uh, your toilet cleaning stuff, dishwash detergent, hand soap, this stuff is awesome, by the way, to clean your windows. This stuff works great. One other thing that they have at Home Depot that I really like are these Zep spray bottles. So if you wanna make your own mixture of stuff, if you're not into buying the, the pre-made cleaning, if you wanna do the you know vinegar and water, you can do that. These are super cheap, they're like three bucks. Whatever you need, brooms, mops, it's all here. Really cool, the cleaning section. So finally, we are in the tool section. Now this is gonna be very personal to what RV you have. We do carry quite a few tools on board that we seem to use all the time. One thing we always use, is a drill. We keep a drill on board. We prefer Milwaukee because it's a pretty good brand and it'll last a long time. We also do keep a minimum mechanics tool set on board as well as a hammer and a bunch of other tools. Carry as much as you can to be within your weight rating, but you'll start to know what kind of tools you need the most and we recommend that you carry those. So we hope you enjoyed that video. In the comments below, let us know have you shopped at Home Depot for your RV? Or have you slept at a Home Depot parking lot 
with your RV. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the road.